Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Corona positive cases and casualties are rising in the city by leaps and bounds. The rising number of patients is causing an increasing strain on the government hospitals and hence private hospitals too are chipping in as far as sharing the load of treating patient is concerned. But many corona patients are unable to afford treatment at these hospitals. Hence there is an urgent need to construct a jumbo hospital in the city. West Nagpur MLA and Congress leader Vikas Thakur recently met Deputy Chief Minister and Finance Minister Ajit Pawar in this concern. He submitted a memorandum containing the details of the dire COVID-19 situation in the city and highlighted the urgent necessity of setting up a jumbo hospital in the city which would cater to the growing number of corona patients and provide cost-effective treatment to them. More than 25,000 houses were destroyed due to recent flood in Vidarbha. The process of assessment of damaged property and crops has not been completed yet. In a video address, former Energy Minister and BJP leader Chandrasekhar Bhavan Kule criticized the Mahavikas Gadi regime and demanded that a grant of Rs. 2,50,000 should be given to each flood victim by the government and a separate money should be provided to compensate for the loss of household goods. In Vidarbha region, a vast amount of soybean and Mosambi crops have been totally damaged. The actual loss suffered by Vidarbha is estimated to be amount of Rs. 2,000 crores. Therefore, Bhavakul alleged that the Rs. 16 crore compensation package being provided by the Maharashtra government is totally inadequate considering the huge amount of losses suffered by farmers and other people of the region. Owing to the increasing number of corona positive patients across the city, 25 more ambulances have been included in the service of a citizen through the initiative of Nagpur Municipal Corporation officials recently. With this, the total strength of the NMC's ambulance fleet has now reached to 65. Mayor Sandeep Joshi and NMC Commissioner Radha Krishnan B had recently instructed concerned officials to arrange for extra ambulances for citizens of the city owing to the rising number of patients. During the dedication of these ambulance, Chairman of the Standing Committee Vijay Jhalke and NMC Commissioner Radha Krishna B and other officials were present. As per the instructions of Commissioner Radha Krishna B, at least four ambulances will be made available for each zone of Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Ambulances will also be made available at the various COVID care centers of the city and will be equipped with oxygen cylinders and other state-of-the-art medical equipment. Our Minister Anil Deshmukh has been constantly receiving threatening calls regarding staying away from actress Kangra Ranaut's case. As per sources, a threatening call was received again at his residence on Wednesday morning in which the caller threatened to kill him if he did not stay away from Kangra's case. The security of Deshmukh's civil lines based Bangalore has been strengthened further in the aftermath of these series of threatening phone calls. On ground of being a cabinet minister and holding the important portfolio of home ministry, he has provided a Z plus security in any case. But after this call, the security cover has been strengthened even further. The suspect who have made a location in Delhi and Himachal Pradesh, a complaint has been lodged with the police in this regard and further investigation is underway. After taking over the charge of Commissioner of Police, Nagpur Amitesh Kumar instructed administration to provide all level support to police force as far as medical aid is concerned. In spite his order, a cop Vijay Srivastava working at headquarters died of Corona at Alexis Hospital on Wednesday. The deceased suffering from a wound and a gangrene was admitted to Alexis Hospital. During his treatment, his Corona test found positive and on receiving the report, Alexis' management turned negative and asked him to vacant the hospital as there were no bed available for corona-positive patients. The health of Vijay Shivastha meanwhile started deteriorating and he was succumbed to his injuries with added infection of corona. The situation of Nagpur is turning worse due to spread of pandemic and no authorities or administration is answerable for such kind of human losses. The incident is a big black mark on the administration's monitoring and working style. The death toll due to coronavirus pandemic in the district breached the 1,500 mark on Friday. Over the last one day, 1,934 corona-positive patients have came to light, bringing the total number of positive cases at 46,490. 
With the 58 deaths in the last 24 hours, the total tally of casualties has reached to 1,516. While giving the breakup of the origin of the disease, medical authorities reveal that 1,163 patients are from the city, 216 are from the rural areas of the district, while 137 are from outside of the district. In the last 24 hours, 1,513 patients recovered and went home. What is the total number of recovered persons has reached 33,079, which includes 18,575 persons who recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district is now 71.15%. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take good, very good care of yourself.